five, four, three, two, one. Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Board of Work and today I'm going to show you how to update Windows 8.1 Update 1 on your Surface 2 and your Surface Pro 2. So uh, you can also do this, do, do this update on any Windows 8.1 PC, so it really doesn't matter. But I just want to show you on the Surface because, you know, basically th this is meant for those devices also that have touch as well as keyboard inputs and Surface is quite easy to do that. So on your on your Surface 2 right here, all you need to do is go into your settings. Now, Microsoft says you can go into the store. I do apologize. You can go into the store and you should have the Windows 8.1 update. Now, if it doesn't show up here in the store, all you have to do is swipe from the right, go into your settings, go to change PC and go to update and check now for update. I've already done that. And I'm just going to actually zoom in there. And maybe just bring this forward a little bit so you, you guys get a better look at that. And you can see if I view details, it's going to show you the details of what I have here. And you see it says update uh, to Windows RT 8.1. I click on that. This is a published update published on 3.10.2014. That's when it was published. More info. And this is basically your update to a uh, 8.1. Now that's on the Surface 2. On the Pro 2, it's the same thing. You can go to the store if it doesn't show up on your store storefront as we have here, we can go into our settings, change PC, uh, check for update, which we've already done, and then view details, and we'll show you the difference here. So on since the Surface Pro 2 is an x86 system, uh, you can see you have Windows 8.1 update for x86. You can click on that, and then we have a Bing bar update. You can check details out again, here we go, published on 4-7 to 2014. Uh, this is not the future, um, we are still, so we have it all here and we can go ahead and run that update for you. So let's go ahead, hit install on both devices. Install here and install here. And we'll see how long both updates run. We'll let you know and we'll check out some of the new features. So the update took about 25 minutes in total. It wasn't pretty long. It would take longer if you haven't previously updated your system. So you go through the set of updates before getting to Windows. Windows 8.1 update one. So the very first thing you notice with this update is that in the very top here, uh, and I'm just going to zoom in closer for you so you can see uh, right next to my name I have a power button so I can actually go ahead and shut off restart the system directly without actually doing uh, going through the chime uh, the charm here I said chimes I'm, I apologize so it's a very easy process to do that there it's simple and it's quite easy the other thing also is that now you do have right click functionality within the desktop. So I can go ahead and uh, name groups directly from here by just doing that uh, by right clicking or I can go ahead and hit control and select a bunch of apps and then I can drag all four apps together or I can drop it back here again. So it's much easier to navigate. You can see now, of course, with um, your right click functionality. Now you can right click on an application like uh, Facebook here, or actually let's go ahead and uh, look at a different application altogether. Let's go to news. So you can right click on news. You can unpin from start to zoom a little closer so you have a better look. Pin to taskbar, unpin, resize, and um, turn live tile off. But I can pin this to my taskbar. Uh, which is something most Windows users or regular Windows users are used to. So I can pin that there. And if I go to my desktop, boom, news is right there. And I can open it directly on my desktop. And you can see I also have a preview option on my desktop. So I can actually preview application. That is my music app. So I can hit play. Should be able to play something or maybe nothing's there to play. That's Hulu. But I can navigate the application. I can scroll through and use it. I'm using my mouse here. And if I want to close my news app, I go to the top right hand corner and there's an X and I can just X out instead of me pulling, I can still pull it down if I want to, but I can just pretty much do this and close it out and it's closed. That's a quick message there. So you have that there. There's also a um, uh, PC settings uh, live tile, which I also can pin 
to my desk to my um, taskbar I just do that and I, I go straight to my PC settings so which is very nice uh, that live tile is there and available um, it's right here and it's in your in your um, uh, app tray the other thing within the app tray that's also interesting and new is that it you can see that so I've installed two new applications and it doesn't show up on my stat menu to my app tree, but here it tells me um, that I have two new applications. So I, I know that I've installed something or even if I installed it a week ago or two weeks ago, it's always gonna be there until I actually um, go ahead and check them out uh, all together. So once I actually click on the application, so I click the Amazon, uh, don't allow, let's go back. You can see that's actually gone. So the notification there saying that you have two install applications is gone, but it's there and it's available for you as a user, which is nice. The one big thing most people, of course, who would like is that you can actually boot directly to desktop. So you can right click, go ahead, uh, hit uh, right click on the taskbar. It's the easiest way, hit properties. And I'm just gonna drag this to the center and go to navigation. And at navigation, you can see I select uh, when I sign in or close all applications on screen, go to desktop instead of start. So you select that, that's pretty much it, and hit OK. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to sign out. Actually, just click here. I'll just click here to sign out and uh, restart. I'll restart the system. And you guys will see that I will be able to sign in to my desktop directly instead of signing in to uh, my start screen so that gives you more flexibility uh, as a Windows user which is what you're used to with Windows anyway to be able to uh, have the flexibility of, of signing in and, and doing what you need to do on a Windows platform with ease altogether and there we are I'm back in my desktop so it's a very simple process so those are the things in Windows 8.1 the other thing that's most notable actually that you will not see is that Windows 8.1's uh, minimum PC requirements are actually dropped down so all it's required is only one gig of RAM now and uh, 16 gigabytes of storage space so this allows lower end devices devices that are falling into that category of um, you know, uh, two hundred dollar, three hundred dollar devices uh, in that category. So that's something nice to see. That actually, uh, uh, hopefully, we'll see more Windows devices. But this is Windows eight point one update one. If you have any questions, now this is it on the uh, Surface Pro two. Now we mentioned it on the Surface two. Um, I, for some reason, I'm, my update is stuck, and um, I can't actually update it because I'm getting an error message here. I'm just going to show you that error message so you guys can see. Uh, so if anyone has the same mess error message, let me know. It's 800-73712 for the Surface uh, Surface 2. But uh, I was able to update it on my Pro 2 and a couple of my other PCs are uh, in here. So if you have any questions or any comments about this, let me know. Uh, leave your comments. Tell us what your experience is with Windows 8.1 Update 1. Uh, this is Thundi E saying thank you. Do uh, like this video, share this video, and also subscribe to Border Work, top right-hand corner of your screen or in the description below. But uh, again, thank you and always enjoy entertainment.